MX Linux gives you three different desktop environments, XFCE, KDE Plasma, and Fluxbox. But what's the real difference between them? Which one's the fastest, which ones look the best, and which one should you actually install? In this video, I'm comparing all three editions of MX Linux side by side. So by the end, you'll know exactly which version fits your style and your system. MX Linux is one of the most popular Linux distributions out there. It's fast, stable, and user-friendly. Built on Debian with some nice touches from NTX, it's known for being reliable while still giving you great performance even on older hardware. But when you go to download it, you'll notice something. There is not just one MX Linux, there are three. The classic XFCE edition, the modern KDE Plasma edition, and the super lightweight Fluxbox edition. Let's take a look at each of them and see what makes them different. MX Linux XFCE Edition Let's start with the XFCE Edition. This is the flagship version of MX Linux. It has a very traditional desktop layout, a left side panel with a whisker menu, system tray and a taskbar. It's not flashy, but it's clean, functional and familiar once you get used to the vertical layout. The MX team adds a nice, slightly modern theme with their default icons, wallpapers, but everything still feels lightweight. Performance is where XFCE shines. It's light on resources but still full featured. On my system, it uses around 900 megabytes of RAM when idle, which is excellent for a modern desktop. Everything feels snappy, windows open instantly, and it just feels responsive. It's a great balance between being lightweight and being complete. You get all the classic MX tools here, MX snapshot, MX package installer, the MX boot repair tool, they're all available. Thunar is your file manager and it's fast and easy to use. You also get the full suite of basic applications, Firefox, LibreOffice, VLC, GIMP, and a few handy utilities like Conkey and MX Tweak. Everything you need for daily use is already pre-installed. So who is this edition for? Honestly, for most users. If you want a system that's stable, fast and don't get in your way, XFCE is the sweet spot. It runs well on both old and new machines and is the version the MX team focuses on the most. Pros, excellent balance of speed and usability, full MX toolset, stable and well polished. Cons, the interface is a bit dated compared to modern desktops and customization options are more limited than KDE. But overall, this is the default MX Linux experience and it's rock solid. MX Linux KDE Edition. Now let's move on to the KDE Plasma Edition. Right away you can tell this one's flashier. It looks beautiful out of the box. KDE gives you slick animations, a polished system tray and lots of small design touches. MX ships it with a light, clean theme that blends well with Plasma's modern design language. Despite being feature-rich, KDE Plasma has become surprisingly lightweight in recent years. On MX Linux, it idles at around 1.5GB of RAM, which is still very efficient for a desktop this powerful. It feels smooth and the animations are well optimized. You might notice a tiny bit more CPU usage compared to XFCE, but nothing major. Since this is Plasma, you'll get KDE's own suite of applications, Dolphin as your file manager, which is powerful and packed with features. You also get KDE Connect, which lets you sync your phone and computer, a big plus for Plasma users. Everything else is similar. MX tools, package installer, and all the usual apps like Firefox and LibreOffice are still here. The KDE edition is great for people who want a modern desktop experience, something that looks polished and is easy to customize. If you like the idea of tweaking every part of your system, changing themes, and having lots of visual feedback, this one is for you. It's also perfect for users coming from Windows 10 or 11 because the layout feels familiar yet refined. Pros, modern design, very customizable, feature rich and still efficient. Cons, slightly heavier than XFCE and with so many settings it can be overwhelming for beginners. But overall this edition feels like a professional modern desktop while still keeping that MX Linux reliability. MX Linux Fluxbox Edition Finally, the Fluxbox Edition. This one's a bit different. 
Flexbox in MX Linux behaves more like a minimalist desktop environment rather than just bare window manager. You get a very old school interface with a right click menu, a simple panel and almost no graphical effects. It looks extremely minimal and even outdated at first, but once you get used to the layout, it's extremely functional. This edition is fast. On idle it typically uses around 500 megabytes of RAM, sometimes even less depending on your setup. It's ideal for older hardware or low spec machines. Think laptops from 20 years ago. Even on modern hardware it feels instant, windows open immediately with zero lag. Despite being lightweight, MX didn't strip away essential tools. You still get MX tools, the package installer, Firefox, Thuner and all the core MX utilities. So even though the desktop is minimal, the functionality is fully intact. It's just the interface that's minimal. Fluxbox is perfect for users who value pure speed and simplicity above everything else. It's great for very old PCs, minimalists or advanced users who prefer a lean, no frills desktop environment. If you're comfortable with using right click menus or keyboard shortcuts, you'll feel right at home. Pros, extremely lightweight, very fast and still includes all MX tools. Cons, it's less intuitive and it doesn't look as modern as the other editions. But for pure performance, nothing beats Fluxbox. Alright, now that we've seen each edition individually, let's put them side by side. RAM and resource usage. In terms of resource usage, Fluxbox is the lightest. It idles at around 500 megabytes of RAM, making it ideal for really old machines. XFCE sits right in the middle, about 900 megabyte, which is still super light while giving you a full desktop experience. KDE Plasma, surprisingly, isn't far behind, about 1500 megabyte idle, which is impressive for how feature rich it is. Appearance and customization. When it comes to looks, KDE takes the crown. It's modern, smooth, and endlessly customizable. XFCE looks classic but clean. You can tweak panels, themes and icons, but not the same level as KDE. Fluxbox is minimal. It's functional, but don't expect fancy widgets or effects. It's more about simplicity than beauty. Features and ease of use. All three editions come with the same MX tools, things like the MX snapshot, package installer and boot repair. The difference is in how you interact with them. XFC is the easiest for beginners, simple menus, familiar layout. KDE gives you advanced features and integration and it can feel a bit overwhelming at first. Fluxbox is the most basic. It's efficient but you'll need to rely on the right click menus and keyboard shortcuts more often. So here's the short version. XFCE for most people, stable, fast and balanced. KDE Plasma for those who want a polished modern experience with all the bells and whistles. Fluxbox for minimalist or anyone trying to revive an old computer that barely runs anything else. So which one should you choose? If you're new to MX Linux, I'd say start with XFCE. It's the addition the MX team puts the most polish into and it just works. If you have a newer machine and like eye candy or customization, go for KDE Plasma, it looks fantastic and feels premium. And if you're running on limited hardware or just want a lightning fast system, Fluxbox is the hidden gem. The great thing is they are all use the same MX tools and the same Debian base. So you're not losing anything whichever you pick. So which MX Linux edition do you prefer? XFCE, KD or Fluxbox? Drop your choice in the comments below. If you like this video and it helped you decide which one to try, please give this video a like. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more Linux distro comparison and tutorials and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Also, if you will have any questions, please drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try to help you if I can. And also, if you like what I'm doing and want to support my channel, you can use super thanks or simply buy me a coffee. I'm going to put the links in the description. But this is it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.